Professor Shul, uh, you are from California and we keep on talking about Californian cataracts. So have you ever seen these kind of cataracts in US? Yes, sir. Uh, Professor Shul has uh, attended the SICS in JJ <laughs> and he has done excellent surgery in JJ, so he knows that. Even in California, remember California is a very heterogeneous state. We have, of Indian. course, the uh, middle class that take excellent care of themselves, and we have a big influx of Hispanics from Mexico, Central America, and generally they come with end-stage disease, they don't have insurance, and by the time they get insurance, we have what we call Indian cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Thank> great. <laughs> So the next speaker is Professor S.P. Singh from Regional Institute of Ophthalmology, Priyagraj, Allahabad. And uh, he's a wonderful surgeon and you'd see lots of cases of small pupil. He's a large series of small pupil and you'll find them being done so easily by Professor S.P. Singh. Thank you, Dr. Kamalji Singh for using such a nice word. Uh, as you know, small people uh, poses definitely a great challenge to the surgeon. Either you are doing the SICS or the FACO, anything. Uh, but if you know the real technique, uh, then uh, you can perform very easily. And for the beginners, you know, for the beginners, it's better to choose the selected cases like uh, nucleus proboscis, uh, early cartilage cartilage, pushes, absolute cartilage. But you know, once the surgeon is experienced, you can perform in any, in any, any case. Either a small people, hypermature, contract with raised integral integral pressure, posterior polar. In any case, you can perform. Mm -hmm. As Dr. T. Pilani very rightly said, there is no difficulty in uh, doing the SICS. As some you may feel some difficulty in the FACO, but there is no problem in the SICS. And these are the you know these are the few cases are uh, very small people, uh, very difficult cases. You can see how you can perform the um, this SICS very easily in such type of. Uh, uh, in such type of cases. And uh, these are the various technique that you can uh, use for the doing the small people, either the, uh, the viscomedesis, sinucleosis, pupillary dilator, large, this uh, laser phacomedesis, and pupillary resistance that is uh, uh, stretch pupilloplasty, and sometimes the surgical, surgical um, uh, interface may require. But you know, if, if in, in other, all these cases, there is chances of uh, damage to the sphincter and that may lead to the, the post-operative medesis, permanent operative uh, medesis, and that may lead to the glare and so many problems. So uh, I have uh, innovated my some, and a good idea, an innovative idea, how to uh, prevent the damage to the sphincter and uh, to prevent the post-operative dilatation of the pupil. And you know, see, these are some procedure, stage pupiloplasty, this multiple inspectorotomy, and, uh, but I'm just going to uh, highlight the my own innovative technique of pull and push method. This is, so coming directly to the video. You see, you can, this is such a, a small people. But this kind of people requires the, uh, this Irish hook or the Melvin Ewing, other devices. But how to perform the resistance with such a small people by pull and push method, you can watch. Then always give the prone and step incision uh, to control the aesthetic bodies. Uh, and this how it be small. And then uh, this make the incision in large. In this situation, always better to stay in the, this capsule with the type on blue. And then side port is very important. And then see how you can this you can use the Y shaped hook. And then push on one direction. And simultaneously with the another hand, do the axis. Both the hand you have to move together simultaneously. Just expose the uh, the axis and then uh, do the axis. And then with the this curved Sinsky hook, again pull it. Earlier, push another direction or pull it in this direction, and then continuously with the both the hand, you can you can rotate both the hands simultaneously. This requires some sort of practice. And if you do in few cases, you may be can, you can perform very easily with full confidence. You can see, and then make another side port incision, and then push and the, how you can make the 
there exists. Rex is very important in such a, a very small people. And another important step is how to progress the nucleus in a such a small pupil. So use the bimanual technique very important. In bimanual technique, this two Sinsky hook, you once the press one posteriorly and with another that is lifted and they simultaneously so rotate it. This is bimanual technique very important, very useful, other is very difficult to progress the nuclear in this chamber. Then how you can see very such a small pupil and the some say that exists, how you can uh, remove very easily and then wash is no problem this you can wash very easily pull it the cartridge in the center and then uh, pull in the center always don't aspirate going the periphery only just a small you can see such a small pupil you can um, uh, do everything in retro pupil you can see the pupil is margin is there is no damage to the sphincter post operative pupil is very maintained in, in such a small pupil you can see see another uh, complicated case is post operative there is that asanikia is present all around. And then uh, such a, you can do the, uh, this, uh, break the sinuculosis. This always do the tangential movement. Otherwise, uh, if you pull it, the iris may comes and will constitute much and much. And then in the small cat, you have to use the micro scissor. With the help of micro scissor in the periphery, this fibrinative membrane is there. All around, you can cut all around. Otherwise, in, in this method, you will pull it. What will happen? It may damage to the sphincter. And again, same technique, you can see. Uh, with the help of y uh, the hook, you can push one direction to expose the uh, side, proper side where uh, the rex is. And you can see how easily you can make such a large rex is larger than the size of the people. Only with this innovative technique, this is my that uh, the paper has been published in some uh, international journal, in 2016. Then only you just uh, press it put, uh, in one direction and then you can uh, do the complete the axis very easily. Larger than the, you know, you can see larger than the size of the people. And then you can uh, see, you can complete it very easily. Then see, this is a bit, uh, the, the, do the hydrodexis is very small, hydro, it's very small hydrodexis should be not, otherwise the fluid may entrap and the posterior pressure. See, this is where this is the very important. With one hand, press it posteriorly a little bit, so one, uh, one portion, another portion will lift anteriorly. And then with another uh, hook from this side, uh, from this side, you can go behind the nucleus and the, uh, also retract the, uh, this uh, capsule uh, margin of the axis and then slightly lift anteriorly and rotate it. So easily you can uh, polarize the nucleus in, a, in such a small people only with the rotation by, by manual technique. This is very important. And once it comes out in this chamber, rest is, uh, you can, rest is okay. Now I'm just forwarding a little bit. Another case. <coughs> yeah, see, this is another case in the people with fibrillative membrane is uh, th there in the, uh, so use the micro scissors and uh, whatsoever the uh, fibrillary membrane is there in the periphery, you can uh, remove it. That is known as pupillary edge resection. Sometimes this uh, such kind of is required and then from another side make it circular. Otherwise very difficult to dilate the pupil and produce the nucleus and then sometime you may do like this procedure that is pupillary hysteroplasty and see by doing this, but definitely it will uh, damage the sphincter. But because of very small fibrotic peop uh, the people, sometimes difficult, so you can, that situation, you can combine the another procedure that is the uh, stage pupiloplasty. So I'm forwarding this under layer. Yeah, see how difficult case is this the last case probably. This is the, uh, in the this post uh, inflammatory, post erratic, this membrane. See very, this mem pupillary membrane is there. This no, so make, just make a whole little bit, just separate it and from sideboard go 
again this pupil membrane in the center this pupil membrane is there i will attached uh, with the margin so use this micro scissor from the work from the side port for all around you, you have to make the another side port then you can uh, remove the, this membrane uh, uh, 360 degree then another direction you can then cut it with the micro scissor give sufficient time don't be in hurry such, uh, such a situation such condition until now you remove the whole of the membrane uh, in the center as well as the pupillary margin and you can see you can remove it and then can use Uh, the nucleus is little bit large, this is hard nucleus. So, this is no need of this pull and push method, but uh, but definitely it will may damage harm to the the instructor. But sometimes this is the procedure. So you have to you, ha you should know the different option, uh, what to do in which, in which condition and uh, there is uh, various methods are described and then see this little bit rotate little bit and then again this the bimanual technique this rotate by so gradually gradually rotate it varies and slightly the because main important pre precaution you have to slightly rotate and lift interiorly then it will cause very easily slight uh, uh, forward movement uh, uh, should be there Thank you very much for your question. Thank you, Dr. S.P. Singh. Uh, you have seen these uh, few wonderful cases being done by Professor S.P. Singh. The essential thing here is that uh, he has used minimum instruments and he is going to finish off the business of iris expanders and the iris hooks and everything. So you can do with just two instruments and good hands that you have that will serve the purpose. Yes, Dr. S.P. Just one second, one, everybody cannot do it anyway, just you can do it yeah. as well. Uh, I was asked.